Welcome to the first video of a multiple part series that teaches you about horse color genetics and also debunks a lot of popular myths. In today's video, I'll teach you the basics of horse color genetics by focusing specifically on base colors while also debunking a lot of myths. But before we go any further, the Simply Equine YouTube channel is a channel dedicated to making horse-related educational content. Subscribe if you'd like to see more, as in the next video, I'll go into explaining dilutions, which are modifications to the base colors that we'll be talking about today. And then the video after that, I'll be talking about white markings and Appaloosa markings. For the sake of organization, I'll be breaking up this video into certain fundamental sections that I'll be timestamping in the description below. Uh, those are the introduction, myths that will be covered today, definitions, base colors, and a summary where you can quiz yourself. The primary myth that I'll be debunking today is that there are more than three base colors. In actuality, there are only three. There's black, red, and bay. Uh, red can also be called chestnut. A lot of people seem to think that white is a base color. A lot of people also think that seal bay is a base color. Um, all the variations of bay and all the variations of chestnut are all grouped into chestnut or bay. It's only those three. Before diving right into the video, I'm going to quickly go over a few simple definitions that will help you understand what I'm going to be talking about. But if you already know these definitions, feel free to skip right to the base colors section. I have it time stamped in the description. Genes code for a characteristic of the organism. Alleles are variations of genes like coat color. Dominant alleles are alleles that will always show themselves and cannot be carried. So whenever they're present in the genome, they will always show themselves physically. They always mask recessive alleles. Recessive alleles are alleles that only show themselves if there are no dominant alleles present. So they can be carried if a horse has a dominant allele and is carrying a recessive allele, they can carry the allele to their offspring without it showing up physically. An organism that is homozygous means it has two identical alleles of the same gene. An organism that is heterozygous has two different alleles of the same gene. Without going into too many complexities, an easy way to conceptualize horse coat colors is to think of them in three layers. On the very bottom, we have the base coat color. This includes black, red, and bay. On top of that, we have dilutions, which modify the base coat color if they're present. On top of that, we have white spotting and patterns. Today we'll be focusing on the first layer, which is base coat colors. There are three main base colors, black, bay, and red. Red is also often referred to as chestnut. All of these base colors have black skin. The only difference between the three is the fur color as well as the mane and tail color. These base colors are determined by two different genes. The first gene determines whether a horse's coat will be black or red. The allele for a black coat is dominant over that for a red coat. So for a horse to have a black coat, they need to be homozygous dominant or heterozygous. This means they could have two of the black alleles or just one to show up as black. The allele that codes for a red coat is recessive, so a horse must have two of these alleles to have a red coat. This is often symbolized using letters. In this case, we use capital E's or lowercase e's to show whether a horse has the dominant allele or the recessive allele. The dominant allele is shown with the capital letter and the recessive allele is shown with the lowercase letter. In this case, the dominant allele that codes for a black coat is shown with the capital E. The allele that codes for a red coat is shown with the lowercase e, as it's recessive. So a black horse can either have two capital E's or a capital E and a lowercase e to show up as black, whereas a red coat must have two lowercase e's in order for the horse to have a red coat. After the first EE gene determines whether a horse will be black or chestnut, a second gene called the agouti gene determines whether a horse will produce a bay coat or a black coat. This gene only works on originally black horses, so horses that have either two capital E's or one capital E. A horse that is chestnut will not be affected by this gene. Like the EE gene, the agouti gene is symbolized using the letter A. 
The agouti gene is also dominant, so a horse can either have two copies of an allele or just one to show up as bay. A capital A will show you that the horse will be bay. For a horse to be bay, it could have either two capital A's or only one capital A. For a horse to stay black, it must have two lowercase a's. As a result, pure black horses are less common as the odds are more likely for it to become bay. A bay horse will have brown fur, but unlike chestnut, the mane and tail will stay black. There are many variations to bay like dark bay, mahogany bay, blood bay, seal brown, and wild bay. I should also mention that there's a lot of variations to chestnut as well. We have sorrel, liver chestnut, and light chestnut. There's also variations to the black coat color. We have faded black and jet black. But for the sake of simplicity, we're not going to go too much into this. So to recap quickly, a horse with two capital E alleles or only one capital E will be black as the capital E is dominant over the lowercase e that codes for a red color. So a red color horse will have two lowercase e's. This is because there is no dominant allele that will mask the recessive one and therefore the recessive alleles can show themselves. The agouti gene only modifies black fur into a reddish brown color, but keeps the mane and tail black. So a bay horse will have two capital E's or only one capital E with either two capital A's or one capital A. This means that a, for a horse to stay black, it must have two lowercase a's. A red horse will stay chestnut no matter what agouti gene they get. So that means that they must have two lowercase e's but they can have either two capital A's, one capital A, or two lowercase A's. It doesn't matter.